Um, so what we're going to be looking at is a cross-platform mobile application that we have running on iOS and Android devices. Um, these applications are using the underlying AR SDKs uh, for their given devices. So for Android, that's AR Core, and for iOS, that's AR Kit. Uh, in addition to these base AR SDKs, these applications are using a technology called Microsoft Spatial Anchors, which is communicating and uh, or which is, means they're communicating with the server running in Microsoft Azure's cloud. And this Microsoft Spatial Anchors technology is basically supplementing these base AR kits in these Android and iOS applications. Um, and allowing them to kind of create a, a, collabor a collaborative environment um, in AR, which one of the issues with AR has been it's great, but there's really no way to create a shared space between multiple devices and multiple sessions. So let's go ahead and, and roll this video and take a look at, at one solution to that problem. So you're going to be seeing an Android device that is screen recording. Um, right now, you can see a 3D model being placed in that AR environment on the Android device. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pan around this room and you're going to see all these little dots and that's going to be analyzing points of contrast in this environment and trying to kind of map out this space. And then we're going to go ahead and click and we're going to upload um, basically this virtual AR space that we're in to the Microsoft Spatial Anchors Cloud. What this is going to allow us to do is go on the other device and join the session that this Android device that we're recording from is in. And when we pan around with, with this device, it's going to go ahead, it's going to notice those points of interest and contrast. It's going to load in and see that it's in a shared space. And wouldn't you know, look there, there's the same anchor displayed on one device is loaded into the other device. Transformations like scaling rotation, um, those are all done in real time and shared across the, the two devices via WebSocket technology. You're going to see uh, selection that's occurring on one device popping up on the other. Um, so, you know, this is kind of just going to, or this is kind of amplifying that point that Jonathan was talking about, of, you know, being able to have, you know, somebody else that's not in that space help you or, you know, have uh, multiple people working on a machine, bring up work instructions or, you know, show videos for maintenance steps and stuff like that. Um, so like, as I had said, you know, traditionally these AR experiences were restricted to kind of a single device in a single space. And what this new technology um, is doing, I said it was Microsoft Spatial Anchors, but Microsoft HoloLens has a solution. Um, there's definitely other solutions for this problem from other, um, other companies. And, and these solutions are allowing us to take an AR experience to the next level and make it a lot more functional to solve some of the problems that people are starting to see um, in these digital twins and digital factories.